Okay, it's the uh, afternoon after the night before. We um, made very good use of the free beer at the Mai Tai and didn't make out the hotel till gone 11 o'clock this morning and uh, both feeling a little bit off colour today. So we've um, just potted out on a river taxi up to this restaurant by the river, which is really nice because um, we're both in need of some food because we didn't eat at all yesterday in the end. Not a proper meal anyway, just odd snacks. So. But yeah, Mai Tai was really good actually. So definitely recommend the Mai Tai, but no need to fork out for the expensive seats from what we saw. The cheap seats were pretty good. You don't get a cushion, but you're not sat for that long. And the beer anesthetizes it anyway. So it worked fine. And you get just as good a view from the cheap seats as you do from the, the VIP ones. There you go, when you go to the Grand Palace, you don't need to eat in the expensive restaurant just outside. This is a two minute walk from the Grand Palace and there's a little restaurant after a little restaurant along the river and our lunch just cost us 135 baht, so three pounds. Yeah, lots of these little ones. Very cheap. And the food was good. Okay, arriving at Chatu Chak Weekend Market, Sunday morning, and we're certainly not alone. It's just a steady stream all the way from the MRT, from the BTS. I think this might get a bit hot and sweaty. That's a decent smoothie. We have chosen the wrong time of day again, so midday and roasting hot, but I thought it might be a bit quieter. Maybe it is, maybe it'll be even busier this evening. On the lookout for an electronic shop because my microphone is bust, or the clip on it's bust, which is more annoying than you think. And after some art, some t-shirts, etc. grabbed at Wat Klong Toy Port. Decided it was easier because it was a bit of a hassle to get there by the MRT or BTS and the grab's only 111? 111 which is just ridiculous. Cheap. Would have cost us probably 80 on the MRT anyway and then you've got to get a taxi at the other end so yeah. Grab and bolt are worth their weight in gold. Okay, so we've been dropped at what looks like the industrial port, which is what it said, and then we just have to walk a bit, I think, to find how we get across the green lung. So let's go have a look. Yeah, there's the what that the pier is named after. So hopefully we're in the right direction. It still seems weird when you hear Christmas music here. It's just wrong. It's too hot for Christmas music. for the 
ferry to the Green Line, this is where you get the tickets, and there's your price list. Back on our tickets, 80 baht to get there and back for two of us. And this is our boat. Okay, go, go, go. Go okay, off the boat. Thank you. Don't there be any shortage of places to get a bike. A bit chaotic getting the bikes because everyone comes off the boat at the same time. But eighty baht for the bike for the day. It's not bad. Bikes. A little bit wobbly to get used to it and trying to film and hold the microphone. But. gardens in the middle, the cycling sort of around these little paths and across the bridges. Okay, go get off your bikes and walk along this bit. A little walkway. That's quite a big walkway actually, so let's go all the way around. Oh. Murky water. Murky water with fish. A few fish. Gone as soon as I look. Said there was a what up this way, so we're just gonna potter up this road, see if we can see a what. It's quite nice just pottering around the little streets of the island. There's a bit of traffic, but not awful. It's quite strange, every now and again you get a, you get a glimpse of the Bangkok skyscrapers in the distance. You kind of forget when you're cycling around here, it feels like you're out in the country. Maybe I've got a big truck behind us. We're going to stop at every cafe as we go around just for research purposes to let you guys know which one's best. This one's a nice little spot with its own gardens and little hammocks and benches and seats everywhere. Quite nice. But what's it called? Not a clue. Not a clue what it's called. It's the one, first one after the bird tower if you're going clockwise. <laughs> Watch the asphalt track and onto just a mud track, so a little bit bumpier. I think a lot of this is geared up for weekends because uh, there's been a few things already where it's just open at weekends. I think it's a popular spot for locals. So the fighting fish attraction wasn't open. And a couple of cafes and bits have been shut, but I thought it might still be all open today given it's Constitution Day and a bank holiday, but obviously not. But actually it's quite nice that it's quieter. Oh, I don't know what's going on up here. Big group and something going on. Queuing up for something. Oh, 
ันนี้ครับผมที่เสื้อนั้นสองสองชุดครับที่เสื้อนั้นสองสองชุดครับที่เสื้อนั้นสองสองชุดครับที่เสื้อนั้นสองสองชุดครับที่เสื้อนั้นสองสองชุดครับที่เสื้อนั้นสองสองชุดครับที่เสื้อนั้นสองสองชุดครับที่เสื้อนั้นสองสองชุดครับที่เสื้อนั้นสองสองชุดครับที่เสื้อนั้นสองสองชุดครับที่เสื้อนั้นสองสองชุดครับที่เสื้อนั้นสองสองชุดครับที่เสื้อนั้นสองสองชุดครับที่เสื้อนั้นสองสองชุดครับที่เสื้อนั้นสองสองชุดครับที่เสื้อนั้นสองสองชุดครับที่เสื้อนั้นสองสองชุดครับที่เสื้อนั้นสองสองชุดครับที่เสื้อนั้นสองสอง Bank holiday. I meant to get an ice cream for every temple we go around. Actually, managed to buy this one in the temple. That's the first. So, there we go. It is very hot. We really see the Bangkok skyline from this little bit of road along here. 